Hey guys, my name is Lenny and I got another update for you. As you can see, a lot of stuff has changed. Uh, my friend made a new graphics. Made a lot of stuff for me actually. Um, she reworked the trees. They are a little bit smaller. Uh, I kinda like them. Uh, I didn't want them bigger. It feels uh, better than the old ones. Also, the background texture is different. And there's like a bunch of stuff uh, I need to mention, so I'm gonna go through the list. Alright, there's a new graphic for trees, stone, grass. Uh, some stones remained the same. Uh, stone can no longer be lifted, but can be picked up. Uh, Alright, that's this one. So if you... nope. Yeah, overlapping objects uh, is probably gonna be another task for me. Uh, if you chip stone, at first uh, you no longer drop the item underneath you, you get it into your backpack and the stone graphics is different and you no longer drop the stone block. Uh, this stone can be used for crafting later on. Uh, Alright. Uh, you can no longer chop trees with bare hands. You need a stone axe at least to chop uh, chop down trees. I'm gonna get to that later on. Well, actually I can do it right now. So, um, if I want to chop down a tree, I need to get some grass. Uh, I need to change the grass looting system as, as well. So, when you're cutting down the, the grass tile, it's gonna end up in your backpack instead of uh, just playing on the, on the ground. And if you need, oh well, for the X I need branch as well. So another thing I have added is uh, crafting menu. Now you can see here that I have added even this little feature. These are uh, just checks if you got the item in your backpack. Uh, it won't consume the item if you got it on your character sheet, which is good. <laughs> uh, if you want to... Also, mm, at first I made this crafting menu like static. Uh, it was just an image and there was an event on this like window that would craft only stone eggs. Right now this is generated from the recipe, so if I edit a new recipe it will work for the recipe, so it's like dynamic right, right now. Uh, that took most of my time actually. I had to come up with some nasty, well, funny stuff like uh, using Java Reflection to fetch uh, appropriate, well, yeah, to read the class, then uh, figure out which class it actually is, uh, use its uh, constructor, fetching the proper uh, parameters for the. Yeah, I shouldn't probably be talking about programming. Never mind, it's just Java Reflection, fun stuff with constructors and to make it as dynamic as possible uh, so it's um, ready for further development. Uh, Alright, I got all the items I need for the stone eggs. I kinda got distracted. And if I press uh, craft, there's no progress bar right now. Uh, but I got eggs, stone eggs actually. Uh, so. Now I can chop the tree down. Also uproot, but that was in the last uh, update. Alright, so that's uh, crafting. Uh, I still am trying to figure out how to approach the whole crafting system to make it as uh, easily accessible as possible. So there needs to be like a list or like three of uh, stuff you can craft and uh, probably like a sections. I guess this could be like a book. So in order to avoid uh, going through all the pages, like using this button, uh, I'd probably go for like uh, sections, tools, um, other and so on. Yeah, you probably catch my drift. All right, that's uh, crafting, that's a craft book. Oh yeah, I've added uh, branches to the trees. 
Now each tree has a chance to have uh, from one up to three branches. Uh, you can pick them up, they end up in your inventory if you still got space and now there was only one branch on that tree and now the tree won't give me another. Uh, they don't replenish. Alright, this one had three and now gone. Alright, uh, that's that. Also, blah blah blah, dynamic craft book. Uh, some graphics cleanup. I had a lot of old images that I didn't use. So my friend, uh, my graphical designer, <laughs> cleaned them up for me. I'm actually glad that she took over the graphical part as I was getting lost in pixel art. But hey, it's a fun way to do stuff. Oh. New graphics, trees, that's obvious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have added more trees. That's probably obvious as well. Um, obstacle boxes. I have uh, readapted the system of uh, obstacle boxes on the trees. So it's more appropriate to their image. So uh, both obstacles are the same. They are just adjusted according to the image size and pl plus minus some magic. It should feel decent. All right. Um, what's next? Mm. Big branch. Blah blah blah. All right. Uh, that's the last update. Uh, full screen. Uh, I have enabled full screen. If I press F uh, twelve. I hope you can see full screen when I'm recording a uh, section of the screen. If not, just imagine full screen. I'll probably add a picture or something. Um, there were some issues with uh, full screen. You need to resize a lot of stuff. Well, you need to properly resize the stuff. And uh, I'm moving my screen using some sort of offset values and it was kind of messing up so I had to fix uh, fix the transi transition properties I guess yeah never mind uh, that's uh, for the full screen there was another issue uh, sometimes people end up uh, moving their uh, stuff to the edge of the screen or behind the screen and then just uh, moving well quitting the full screen and that would actually render the character sheet or backpack or crafting craft book outside the window region. So what I've done is that when I move from full screen it's gonna reset the positions if the object will, would end up outside the screen region. Uh, so no longer, well, you're not gonna be able to lose your containers like these three at least. Uh, I have added FPS counter. I am most of the time above uh, 30 FPS. The worst case is when I'm doing something it drops. Now I'm actually recording but 20 FPS is surprisingly good uh, given I got no experience with uh, programming games. I have also added icon to the a whole J-frame and that's just a random part of the face. I was just uh, messing messing around and I have noticed people having issues with the icon when encountering uh, different fonts, different window settings. Well, I'm, I'm gonna use this small one, I don't care. Um, also, uh, there's a windowed mode, uh, full screen windowed I guess. Uh, this uh, this had some issues with uh, transition as well, so I have like fixed all the stuff in one big patch update, whatever. So now it uh, displays properly in in the middle of the screen, and it even uh, draws the screen properly. So when my screen is smaller, uh, it shouldn't draw as much as it shouldn't draw the game as much as uh, I'm enlarging the the window. 
So right now, like right here, the screen shouldn't be rendered. At least I hope so. Um, <laughs> all right, that's probably all the stuff I have edited. I'm pretty tired. It's like midnight right now, and I've been at it uh, for a long time now. So um, I think it's going pretty well. I'm improving a lot of stuff on the background, so the work is kind of easier for me as I go. Uh, what I want to do do next is uh, figure out probably more crafting, but I'd like to get uh, into fighting or at least trapping and building stuff. Um, I've been thinking about how to implement uh, saw, as in the tool that you use to make planks or boards, and I'll probably have to add uh, killable or trappable animals, also traps or uh, weapons, and you're gonna have to hunt for an animal to get a bone to make it into a bone saw. That's what I found on Google as the most primitive tool to make planks. I guess it's the same as in Haven and Hearth, where you need to run around uh, catching rabbits, trying to get the bone when you're starting off, of course. Alright, uh, that's it for now. Uh, see you guys next time.